Alright guys, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Instead of just uploading games as usual, I'm going to actually show you how you can rip your own games. Uh, you're going to need to have a either... Well, I never tried it with PlayStation 2, so just have a PlayStation 1 disc around, and we'll get this show on the road. The first thing you're going to do is open up your Google and type in this. Alcohol... Whoa. Alcohol 120 Torrent. I'm going to click on that. It's going to be the first link that pops up. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to lead you to the Pirate Bay. Just click Download Torrent. and glow, uh, Ignore the acid over here. Click on Download Torrent. Open up and you know get your situation situated. Download it. Do whatever you will. You're going to go to where your torrent downloaded. And mine's right here, alcohol 120%. Open it up. After that, you're going to extract it. And there you go. Make sure to run the exe to download the program. I already have the program installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. The next step is actually fairly simple. You go into your patch folder and then you see these two things. You're going to copy them and if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista the first thing you're going to do is go to where you downloaded the program. So it should be in your program files. It's under Alcohol Soft, not Alcohol 120. So you're going to click on the Alcohol Soft folder, Alcohol 120, and then you see these. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to paste the patches. Right after you paste the patches, just go to your desktop, Alcohol 120 is over here, you click it and it does not ask you for a serial number does not ask you for a serial number or it does not say it's on trial so you just got the version of alcohol 120 in full alright now that you have alcohol 120 percent what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your PlayStation 1 in your computer And once your computer recognizes the disk, you're going to click on Image Making Wizard. Click on Reading Options, the second tab. Now, if you can't find the conversion for, to ISO, always choose either IMG or .cue, Q, if you will. Make sure to name it. This game is called Breakout. Choose your file for where you want to store these ISOs. And then right after that, make sure to have nothing checked here except for skip reading errors. Click start. Shouldn't take that long, but I'm going to record again right after it finishes. Alright, so right after it rips the game, open up where you down or where you saved the file. It's going to be right here. As you can see, breakout bin, and then you had breakout Q. Um when you make the Q file, the file that actually runs on the emulator is going to be .bin. If I open up EPSXE, for example, choose File, Run ISO, it's going to be Breakout.bin, and when I click on that, it runs. You don't really actually need the Q file for the bin to run. At least I've had no errors running it when I delete the Q file anyway. It takes a while to load. As you can see, it's working fine. And no, it does not have music on this part, which is why it's so silent.
Anyways, let, let me try with another disc just to show you the difference of this one and an IMG. I'm gonna put your disc in the computer. I'll use a different game. Same thing, image making wizard, second tab. Now this time you can make an ISO. Uh, what is it called? Oh, Army Men World War. And you're gonna start making your ISO. All right. After ripping that one. You obviously Army World War ISO. Just to check. Open up your emulator as usual. Run ISO. And as you can see, it is working. <sighs> yep. There we go. And it's working like a normal game. Alright, that is pretty much it. After all that mess, that is how you make your own ISO. So if you have any games or you have any uh, movies, whatever, whatever, just share them. That's pretty much the way the world goes around without money. Come on, people, let's go. We can do this. <laughs> Either way, happy gaming.